Now, Tyson Foods is a consumer staple stock, and consumer staples can be popular during recessions as demand can actually increase for certain companies. And with the Fed telling us that the base case is pretty much for a 2023 US recession, Tyson Foods could be attractive in this environment. Tyson Foods have also recently announced an acceleration of their automation projects, which is meant to increase efficient, efficient inefficiencies for the company. It's not yet clear whether this has resulted in any staff cuts, but a greater efficiency could potentially lead to higher gains over the coming period. So does this mean that Tyson's strong seasonals are worth looking at? And they are strong. Just take a look over the last 10 years. We have an 80% winning trade ratio with the average return of nearly 8% with only two losses during the last 10 year period. So does this now mean it's a good time to buy into Tyson Foods? Major trade risks. The main risk here, of course, is that there is some negative news for the company or the Fed turns ultra aggressive at their next December meeting. Remember, don't just trade it, but season exit. Remember, HYCM clients can access the season X product in order to analyze over 25,000 different currency pairs, indices, commodities, as well as individual stocks. So please do contact your account manager for a free trial to get started right away. Certain products and services mentioned herein may or may not be available to all clients, depending on which HYCM Capital Markets Group entity their trading account adheres to.